Hey there guys, Michael here, and got a little uh, product comparison we're going to do today. We're going to be comparing two microphones, toner microphone, Rofir microphone, Rofir microphone. They're both very, uh, very affordable microphones. They're USB uh, condenser microphones in the budget market, kind of kit ones. They're $50 on Amazon each currently as we're doing this video. And I figured I'd just do a little comparison and review of both of them. That way maybe you could make your own informed decision if you decide to uh, pick up one of these microphones. Right now I am talking to you here on the, the toner microphone. This is a $50 microphone on Amazon. It comes with the stand, microphone, pop filter, USB wire. And today we're going to be, we're going to compare them. I don't want to tell you which one I like, don't like. Also, I have the Tech Zone uh, Stellar X2 just recording right here. And that's just so I've got some backup audio. And I personally want to listen to the difference between them both. Since the Stellar is about an arm's length away from me, uh, I do have the gain on the zoom turned up just a little bit. So that way I can make sure I pick up uh, me talking clearly. It's going to be picking up a little bit of background noise, so I may have to edit some of that. With both USB microphones, I will not do any kind of audio editing. It will be raw, just the way it is. It's getting recorded in a Reaper. I'll compare both of those, and uh, hopefully I'll be able to just sync all this audio and swap back and forth. And again, this is uh, just a review. So this is the Rofir microphone. Rofir microphone. It's okay packaging. This is the standard what you get as far as uh, these little kit microphone setups go. Uh, you know, they say it's for chatting, dubbing, gaming, recording, and podcasting. I don't know if there's any USB microphones on the market that are really good for dubbing. Uh, this looks actually like the guy's narrating uh, a book. I don't know if that is possible. But now as far as gaming goes and chatting online... Absolutely. I use this USB microphone for when I don't want to get out the Zoom, set up everything, record it on a memory card, transfer over to the computer. Um, that's when I utilize my USB microphones. Also, most USB microphones can connect to a phone fairly easily. So it takes nothing to throw the microphone, the desktop stand, and a wire in a bag, take it with me, and then I've got a microphone that I can just plug right into the phone, record it, and then I don't have to worry about transferring anything. Um, and so that's the other reason that I do like to have just a couple of USB microphones on hand. We're going to go ahead and open this. I've been using it. I just stuck everything back in the box so that way I could do this part of the review. Slash unboxing. All right, in the box, you got your little handy guide. There's not much to it. The, the microphones are plug and play. If this just tells you what you got in the box, that's it. Um, there's nothing to it. it most everything self-explanatory when you look at it. it comes with a pop filter really thin none of these come with anything that's very good I don't think windscreen kinda standard we'll see and I'm not gonna do a plosive test just I don't keep the microphones close enough to really worry about that it's got a shock mount with an extra thread set so that way if you want to put it on a different arm you'll have that option. The desk mount. Uh, these, I haven't been impressed with uh, any, this one or the other one. Um, they're just not, they're just not made. I've used C-clamps before, uh, just building things in general. I have a bunch of C-clamps down in uh, the basement. And I guess going from like a construction quality C-clamp to one of these microphone C-clamps, there's just not a comparison. And when you clamp one of these onto a desk, so far, I haven't been impressed by any. Uh, I'm sure there might be some higher quality ones you can purchase online. And if this is going to be something that you're going to have attached to the desk, I would highly recommend purchasing a better quality uh, C-clamp. These arms, it's okay. I mean, it, it feels like it's, it, it doesn't feel like it's going to fall apart on you. It uh, definitely doesn't. I have this one hooked up here, and I've realized in a couple of my recordings, my voice can resonate the springs and that'll get picked up into the microphone recording. 
I'm looking into just maybe wrapping it up with a piece of fabric, something to just absorb some of that. Uh, whether this happens with this, I'm not too sure. Uh, but in general, th this doesn't feel terrible. It doesn't. Um, is it professional quality? I don't know. Here's the microphone. This is a little on the lightweight side as far as they go. It feels all metal. In my first attempt to make a recording of this, I unscrewed the bottom cap. The whole microphone came apart. Uh, it was a little bit creepy. I don't know. I'm not going to do it again. Maybe I'll just cut out from the other one. I don't want to mess up the little circuit that's in here. And here's the microphone. Kind of light. It's okay, I guess. We'll see. USB. Yeah, looks good. Comes right apart. Whoopsie. Okay. So hopefully I didn't mess anything up. USB goes to this tiny little circuit right here on the circuit board. Two little wires go in. That's not, it's not much technology here. Not much technology here. Look at that. Oh, that was completely on accident. I just wanted to see what happened. Go ahead and put it back together. So if this doesn't work, then um, I broke it. Hopefully it works. My furnace just kicked on, so I am going to take a break and I'll be right back. Uh, there's no volume control slash gain control. There's no adjustments that can be made. So everything has to be done on the computer where with the toner microphone, it's got a little adjustment up and down, gain up and down. And that does help with this. And I, honestly, I do hope that this is still recording. It looks as it is. We'll see. But, um, that was one thing, uh, some of the reviews that were online was that this recorded very quietly. Now, under the computer, it was okay. Under the phone, it recorded just fine. And I will be doing both the computer and recording into my Note 9. I'll show you how to do that. Super easy, quick, no problem. Uh, but let's go ahead and get this set up. I'm going to pause this and get everything set up on the desk. And then I'll talk into both of them. And I'll be right back. Okay, so this is the setup. Both microphones. I said I was going to talk both at the same time. But... I'm only recording one microphone, so I'm going to end up having to pause, go back and forth, and I'll talk into each one. And what I'll do is I'm just going to read off the Amazon screen what's offered for each microphone and play that audio for you. Instead of looking at the back of my head, I'll give you the screenshot too. This is a recording of the Toner USB Microphone Kit Q9 Condenser Computer Cardioid Mic for Podcast Game YouTube Video Stream Recording Music VoiceOver by toner great sound of fidelity toner q9 microphone makes a new breakthrough on sound recording the cardioid polar pattern helps to capture sounds with higher fidelity equipped with a 16 millimeter large diaphragm wide frequency response 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz and professional sound chipset the q9 microphone provides a perfect combination of clarity warmth extended dynamic range and high SPL capability. Plug and play with USB A to B cable, Toner Q9 microphone is easy to connect with both Mac and Windows computer. No need no need any extra driver software or sound card. It is perfect for podcasting, music, video recording, live streaming, gaming, or online chatting. Complete mic set package includes a condenser microphone adjustable suspension scissor arm stand, desk mount clamp, metal shock mount, pop filter, foam mic cover, 1.8 millimeter, 1.8 M, USB A to B cable, and manual. All in one helps you get rid of the trouble of purchasing accessories. User friendly design with a convenient volume button. Toner Q9 recording microphone is much easier for you to use 
in working status, short press for adjusting mic volume, level three, threes, long press for turning off the microphone. Note, this microphone is not compatible with Xbox. And that was a recording of the Toner USB microphone kit. I will pause this, switch over to the Rofir and do a recording there. Okay guys, I'm also going to put the pop filter on that it came with. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to read from Amazon page uh, for the Rofir microphone. Just see how it picks up. Now, I did have to shut Reaper down, start it back up when I swapped microphones. It's okay, it took me a second. But it looks as though the levels are recording pretty well. It's actually a lot louder coming through than the toner microphone was but when I'm quiet there's a little bit more noise so I'm gonna go ahead and turn down my gain because you would turn down your gain not so I went down to negative 15 decibels and on the master volume everything's kinda of disappeared but there's still a little bit of noise coming in through the microphone itself I will go ahead and record here, and we'll keep it like this. That way you've got a comparison to have. This is a recording for the Rofir USB Podcast Condenser Microphone Kit. 192 kilohertz, 24-bit, plug-and-play computer PC microphone, studio streaming, cardioid mic with professional sound, chipset for recording, broadcasting, YouTube, gaming. This microphone currently is $49.99 on Amazon Prime. It offers professional USB microphone. This condenser microphone was designed with professional chipset to help the USB mic hold high resolution sampling rate. Its sampling rate is up to 192 kilohertz, 24 bit. Provide you high quality mic, cleaner, smooth, flat response of voice, 16 millimeter Electric condenser transducer can give a strong bass. Plug and play setup. This mic, this PC microphone has USB 2 port. It is easy to connect with computer. There is no need to install any software and drivers. Double shielding USB cable reduces interference. This makes it easy to sound good when you podcasting, broadcasting, recording, gaming, streaming, chatting, and YouTube. Complete USB microphone kit. In the kit you get the scissor arm stand, flexible and 360 degree adjustable to achieve the most comfort, the most comfortable position and angle. Anti-vibration shock mount to avoid the negative effects of constant movement and vibration. A windscreen, a pop filter, and added line of defense, defense against popping and plosives. They wrote explosives. A USB cable that comes with a... I'm still laughing about explosives. A USB cable that comes with a ferret core install in it. All metal build. This mic set was built to last. Cardioid polar pattern. Cardioid polar pattern design reduces pickup of sounds from the sides, improving isolation of desired sound source, making a cleaner clearer, more real sound. This computer microphone is compatible with all OS laptop, PC, and smartphones. But if you want to connect with phone, you need an OTG adapter, not included. High compatibility. It can, it can compatible with all laptop, PC, and mobile phones. But if you want to connect phone, you will need an OTG adapter, not included. That is a recording of the Rofir microphone. I'm going to go ahead and attach both of these microphones to the phone now. And I can use the wire that comes with them and use the adapter to switch it to USB-C. But I've got a wire already. Boom, to USB-C. This will be perfect. I've already been using it. While the Rofir is still recording, I'm going to go ahead and hook the toner up to the phone. I will be recording into the Wave Editor app. Now, 
Now on the Wave Editor app, I've got settings to adjust my gain. Right now the gain's at set at positive 16. I'm going to go ahead and go back down to as close to zero as my fat fingers can get me. Boy, they need a little reset option on here. This has disable noise per suppression and stereo. We're not going to turn on stereo. If you only have one microphone, you should only be using mono. And I'm recording. All right, and as you can see, the file appears to be showing up nicely. And I'm going to read again with the toner microphone right from Amazon. I've got six minutes left on this before I've got to pause and restart. This is the Toner USB Microphone Kit Q9 Condenser Computer car Cardioid Mic for Podcast Game, YouTube, Video, Streaming, Recording, Music, VoiceOver. This is being recorded into the Samsung Note 9. And again, this microphone has great sound of fidelity. Toner Q9 Microphone makes a new breakthrough on sound recording. The cardioid polar pattern helps to capture sounds with higher fidelity. Equipped with a 16 millimeter large diaphragm, wide frequency response, 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz, and professional sound chipset. Q9 microphone provides a perfect combination of clarity, warmth, extended dynamic range, and high SPL capability. That is a recording of the toner microphone into the Note 9, and I'm going to go ahead and swap the Rofier over to that. I'm going to pause this. Okay, the Rofier plugged into the Note 9, hit record, and I've got a lot of noise. This has happened with other microphones. I'm going to go ahead and stop this. Go to settings, noise suppression, and record again. So now the Rofier, I've got to have the noise suppression turned on in order for it to work with the Note 9. And I'm going to go ahead and read from Amazon's page. This is the Rofier microphone being recorded into the Samsung Note 9. USB podcast condenser microphone kit, 192 kilohertz, 24 bit, plug and play, computer PC microphone, studio streaming, Cardioid mic with professional sound chipset for recording, broadcasting, YouTube, gaming. Professional USB microphone. This condenser microphone was designed with professional chipset to help, USB, to help the USB mic hold high resolution sampling rate. Its sampling rate is up to 192 kilohertz, 24 bit. Provide you a high quality mic, clear, smooth, flat response of voice. 16 millimeter electric condenser transducer can give a strong bass. Plug and play setup. This microphone has USB 2 port. It is easy to connect with computer. There is no need to install any software and drivers. Double shielding USB cable reduces interference. This makes it easy to sound good when podcasting, broadcasting, recording, gaming, streaming, chatting, and YouTube. That just reminded me, I don't have the phone on airplane mode. And I do tend to find that airplane mode when recording into the phone actually helps quite a bit because any electrical interference is eliminated. So I'm going to go ahead and pause this, reread of the Amazon page with airplane mode turned on on the phone. This is the Rofier microphone run through the Samsung Note 9 with airplane mode turned on. USB podcast condenser microphone kit, 192 kilohertz, 24 bit plug and play computer PC microphone. Studio streaming, cardioid mic with professional sound chipset for recording, broadcasting, YouTube gaming. Professional USB microphone. This condenser microphone was designed with professional chipset to help the USB mic hold high resolution sampling rate. Its sampling rate is one hundred up to 192 kilohertz, 24 bit. Provide you a high quality mic, clear, smooth, flat response of voice. 16 millimeter electric condenser transducer can give a strong bass. Plug and play setup. This PC microphone has USB 2 port. It is easy to connect with computer. There is no need to install any software and drivers. Double shielding USB cable reduces interference. This makes it easy to sound good 
when you podcasting, broadcasting, recording, gaming, streaming, chatting, and YouTube. My camera has stopped recording, but this is still recording. So I'm going to go ahead and pause this, switch over to the toner microphone, and read that with the Note 9 in airplane mode. Noise suppression is turned on with this microphone. I'm going to go ahead and turn that off right now if I can. And I did while it's still recording. This is a recording of the Toner USB microphone kit on the Samsung Note 9 with airplane mode turned on. Toner USB microphone kit Q9 condenser computer cardioid mic for podcast, game, YouTube, video, stream, recording music, voiceover. Great sound of fidelity. Toner Q9 microphone makes a new breakthrough on sound recording. The cardioid polar pattern helps to capture sound with higher fidelity. Equipped with a 16 millimeter large diaphragm wide frequency response and professional sound chipset, Q9 microphone provides a perfect combination of clarity, warmth, extended dynamic range, and high SPL capability. Plug and play with USB A to B cable, Toner Q9 microphone is easy to connect with both Mac and Windows computer. No need, any extra driver software or sound card. It is perfect for podcasting, music, video, recording, live streaming, gaming, or online chatting. What I've done is given you a recording of both microphones. You can hear for yourself. This is going to be unedited in a house that most people that are going to be talking online or chatting online, gaming, anything like that, it'll probably be the scenario that you're going to be in. My walls aren't sound treated. There's outdoor noise. I've got dogs chewing on bones downstairs and a kid playing on his tablet. Luckily, the volume's all the way down. So there is room noise. All of these microphones are probably going to have a little bit of room noise just because we're not all in studios. Um, this isn't a studio quality test here. And I don't suspect that there's going to be many USB microphones that are set up for the studio situation. Um, what I like about both of these, I like the toner. The Quite a bit that I've been using this, it has got... It, it, it's, it's, I find it to be fairly quiet. The Rofir, um, it's got a little bit more noise. But what I don't like is that I don't have a way to adjust the gain from here. And I can do it on the computer, which is great. I can do it on the phone, which is great. With the toner microphone, I can do it right by hand and watch the volumes change. If that's important to you, that might be something you need. If it's not important to you, then I wouldn't worry about it. These are adjustments that can be made on the computer. Um, so you've been able to see both both microphones plugged into the computer, plugged into the phone. I've also got the Stellar X2 running again. It's a little less than arm length away now. Sorry about the baby. Um, you'll have a little bit of all three of these microphones uh, in this video. And I hope that this description has helped you. Uh, you can find both of these microphones online. They're both on Amazon. I'm not an affiliate. I don't make any kind of money off of this. Uh, this was just for something to do, really. All right, and quality again. As far as the kit goes, the Rofir came with uh, pretty good quality. They both feel about the same, really. Um, the little screws to tighten everything up to hold it in place, they seem to hold fairly well. Um, for $50, these are probably really good microphones if that's your budget. Now, if you've got a budget for $100, $200, go for the $100, $200 because you're going to get that difference in quality. I'm not going to say at all that these are anywhere near comparable to a $100 microphone, $400 microphone, and so on. But if $50 is what you got, the toner isn't branded anywhere on the microphone, so you can have that if it ends up showing up in a video that you're doing if you're on Twitch or something like that, recording yourself talking. The toner microphone is not going to have any branding on it. The Rofier does. It's simply just, you know, put a little Sharpie marker over it, tape, sticker, whatever, and that's gone. Enjoyed. Um, I kind of enjoyed. This is one of my first, like, microphone head-to-head -head comparisons that I've done. I've uh, done a couple of lapel reviews, and that's just because those would have been using for doing all my uh, recordings. Now I want to try to get into using a actual condenser microphone to do my recording with in hopes that I can just get a little bit better quality sound. Um, I haven't made it to the shotgun microphone level yet. Right now the 
I'm recording this on my Lumix G9. There's no microphone on the top. It's okay. I'll be all right. Um, but that's it for now. And if you like this, go ahead, like, and subscribe. If it's helped you at all, just like it. You don't have to subscribe. If it didn't help you at all, go ahead and like it anyways, because it might help somebody else decide to not get either of these microphones. Um, again, this is just both of these. That's it. Ciao.